Yo, what's up, people? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Tiario, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another message and another truthful topic. And in this video right here, in this message, I am going to be talking about should women minister the gospel or should women preach the gospel? However, which way you people want to name it, should women minister the gospel should women preach the gospel a lot of people ask me these kind of questions you know what i'm saying i get dozens of messages from people asking me what are my thoughts on this particular type of topic so in this video and in this message i am going to share with you my thoughts and not only my thoughts you know what i'm saying god's thoughts okay I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. Not only Tiario thoughts and not only Tiario opinion, but God's opinion and God's thoughts. Understand this. God's opinion, God's thoughts is totally different from ours. They totally different from preachers. They totally different from Christians and Muslims and Israelites and Buddhists and Jehovah Witnesses and, <laughs> and all them other sick psychopath religions <laughs> that these people be following, man. Okay? So first thing first is this, if you are not spiritual, this message is not for you. If you think everything is a game, this message is not for you. If you want to continue to follow all of your pagan lies and all of this stuff, this message is not for you. And also, and also I got to say this, and also, if you, if you are a woman, because this video is mainly about women, if you are a woman... And you want to continue to follow the lies of what preachers told you and all this other stuff that you shouldn't minister the gospel, you shouldn't preach, then this message is not for you. Okay? This message is for people who want the truth. So here so here we go. Here it is. Tiario, should women minister and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ? They should. They should. Tiario said it. They should. But let me tell you the rest of it okay because let me tell y'all what god requires of women who are called to minister and preach the gospel okay i'm gonna tell y'all a problem that we have you see this is the deal y'all we already have a lot of women out there who are already ministering the gospel and preaching the gospel but i gotta be real with y'all it's not the truth you know what i'm saying let's just be real it's not the truth the, the majority of women ministers and women preachers and, and, and women speakers, they're, 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 they're pagan Christians. You know what I'm saying? They, they're pagan Christians. I'm Y'all know I'm telling the truth. They're pagan Christians. It's not the truth. The majority, really, 95%, I'm going to say 95% because it's true. 95% of women today who minister the gospel and preach the gospel, they are pagan Christians. They are not speaking the full hardcore truth this is the problem that we have with 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 women ministers and with women preachers this is the problem okay for number one we have a bunch of them who are already not speaking the truth and and then here we go we have and then and then here it is we have a bunch of them who are not even set free Write that down, take notes. Write that down, take notes. Write that down, take notes. We have a bunch of women today who are not even speaking the full coach, the, the, the full hardcore truth. And then also, we have a bunch of women today who are not set free. This is the problem. This is why a lot of women, y'all, they can't help other women get set free. Because they're not set free. I'm going to repeat that again, man. That right there just needs to sink in you. And, and once again, take notes. These are the problems that we have today with women speakers who preach the gospel. For number one, they're not preaching the real hardcore honest truth. And then for number two, the majority of them, they are not set free. Here we go. Set free from what, Tiario? I'm so glad you asked. The, the majority of women today who want to minister the gospel... They, they're not set free from emotions. And let me tell y'all something right quick on what God is saying. See, listen to me carefully. There is nothing wrong with women preaching and ministering the gospel. But here is the deal. You cannot bring your emotions into the will of God. 
That's the biggest problem that we have with women speakers. You cannot bring your emotions into the will of God. Your emotions are already cursed with the curse. We have a bunch of women who are insecure themselves. We have a bunch of women who hate on other women because this woman is more prettier than her. This woman is more sexier than her. We have, uh, and it's the truth. We have other women who are just jealous of other women. And let's be realistic, y'all. Women don't get along. Come on, man. Let's be realistic. The majority of women today, they don't get along. Y'all, y'all don't got a front in front scenario. Okay, I already know women don't get along. Trust me, I, I was raised by my mama. Okay, I was raised in a house full of women. My mama, my grandmama, my aunties. Come on, man. Women don't get along. The majority of you women today who are listening to this, the majority of people who, who, who hate you and who dislike you are women. The majority of women, if y'all notice, mostly they haters be other women. I'm going to repeat that again. The majority of women today who have a bunch of haters, they haters be mostly women. It be other women because women can't get along. And see, here is the deal. If you are trying to minister the gospel and preach the gospel, if you are a woman, you cannot Bring your emotions and your feelings into the will of God. You cannot bring that mess into God's kingdom. You are going to curse yourself. Okay? This is the truth. And that's the number one reason. That's the number one reason why a lot of women shouldn't even get in this. I'm going to repeat that. That's the number one reason why a lot of women should not get into this stuff. Don't come into God's kingdom trying to preach and you ain't set free from your cursed feelings and emotions. Because trust me on this. God going to punish you. He going to curse you. You want to know why? Because God is already trying to set women free. So here it is. Look at this thing with an open eye. If God is already trying to set women free, what makes you think that God want to look at another woman speaker who already emotional? God don't want to look at none of that no more. It's time for women to come out of their feelings and emotions. And I'm going to... I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm going to be honest. This is what's holding so many women back from their true purpose. Write that down. Take notes. This is true facts, man. Y'all, this stuff is so true. Th this is common sense. We don't even need to go into the scriptures. I'm telling y'all common sense. This is the number one thing that's holding women back from their true purpose. They feel it's and emotions. It's the truth. Women are so damn emotional. It's You can't tell them anything. If you tell a woman... She gaining weight. She going to think you talking down on her. If, if you tell a woman a little bit of truth, she going to get emotional about it. It's the truth, man. You you brothers out there who got wives and girlfriends, y'all already know what I'm talking about. And you women out there, y'all know it's real. It, I guarantee y'all, if I'm having a conversation with a woman face to face and I tell her something that's the real hardcore honest truth, I guarantee you she might get emotional and start crying. And that's the problem. We are. I'm going to tell y'all something. God is tired of women crying. He tired of it, man. It's time for women to get strong. It's time for women to get bold. It's time for women to get set free from their cursed feelings and emotions, man. Not, nothing wrong with women preaching and ministering the gospel. There's nothing wrong with that. But here it is. If you are going to bring your feelings and your cursed emotions into this stuff, don't get in this walk with God. Trust me on this. Because once God get finished with you, you're going to wish you would have left this alone. I'm telling you the truth, man. We don't need no more emotional speakers. That's the... Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something why Christianity is so messed up. It's too many emotional speakers. Half of the people in Christianity who preach, they preach off their feelings, man. I'm going to repeat that again. Half of the people who preach and teach in Christianity, they preach off their feelings. I'm going to repeat it again. Half of the women speakers... Who preach and teach in Christianity, they preach and they teach off their feelings. If they hurting and if they're miserable, they're going to make their members miserable. If they emotional, they're going to make their members emotional. If they clowns, they're going to make their members clowns. If they silly, they're going to make their members silly. This is true facts. This is true facts. And this is why we don't need no more emotional speakers. I'm so tired of emotional speakers, y'all. I don't even take them people seriously. Y'all, I'm being honest. I don't take preachers seriously. I don't take mega preachers seriously. I don't take Christians seriously. I don't take Muslims seriously. I don't take Israelites seriously. I don't take, y'all. I don't take a bunch of people seriously. 
Because the majority of them, they talking based on how they feel. It ain't, it ain't reality. Because y'all, let's be real, y'all. Y'all, we don't really need the Bible. We just need common sense. If you start using your common sense, man, you you you. You don't need to read a bunch of scriptures over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And see, the majority of speakers today, they're not using common sense. So they make y'all stupid. See what I'm saying? This is common sense. And y'all, let, let's be honest. God would love for more women to step up and preach and minister the gospel. He would love that. But women today, they're too emotional. They too messed up mentally. I'm being honest, y'all. I'm being honest, y'all. Women today are really messed up like never before. You want to know why? Look at all of the stuff that, that women have in front of them. They have reality TV. They have weave and wigs that they're wearing now. You know what I'm saying? Women are more gone behind looking at other women today. It's a shame. You have to look at all of the stuff that's in front of women today. This is why women are so messed up. See what I'm saying? We, we have a bunch of women today, y'all, who just make babies by the wrong guys. They marry the wrong guys. They're dating the wrong guys. Some women think that a relationship is their calling. Some women think that being a mama is their purpose. Some women think that going to school is their purpose. Man, w women today are just lost. They lost, man. They really, really are lost because nobody is just being real with them. Seriously, man. Some women today probably on their third and fourth husband trying to walk with God and you on the third marriage. Come on, man. Too much. It's too much, man. You're making babies by the wrong guy and then you're trying to follow God. Come on, man. See, y'all, this is the problem. If women will get out their emotions, they won't have to worry about making bad choices. I'm going to repeat that again. If I'm going to say it again. If women would get out of their emotions, they would not have to worry about making bad choices. The reason why the majority of women of God today make bad choices because they too into their damn feelings. I'm going to repeat it again. The reason why women of God today make bad choices because they are too into their damn feelings. And if you are a woman and you're being controlled by your feelings, you'll marry anybody. You'll date anybody. You'll sleep with anybody. You'll have anybody, baby. You won't even know what to do because your feelings is controlling you. And I got to say this. If you are a woman and your feelings controlling you, don't get into this walk with God with that. I'm telling you right now. Don't try to go preach the gospel and you are a woman who controlled by her feelings. Don't do it. You're going to curse yourself. I'm going to say it again. If you are a woman of God and you are controlled by your emotions and feelings, don't try to preach the gospel. Because God do not want to look at another woman speaker being controlled by her emotions and feelings and yet trying to preach. We don't need that no more. This is why Christianity is so destroyed. This is why people today are so destroyed because all of you all, because all of you all who are listening to this, the reason why the majority of you people are already messed up mentally and emotionally because you've been looking up the people who've been talking off their feelings. I'm going to say it again. The reason why the majority of you women who are listening to this message, the reason why the majority of y'all are mentally messed up and emotionally messed up because you've been following people who are controlled by their feelings. See, when you listen to Tiario, you, I don't talk all feelings. I don't. I don't talk all feelings. Man, I tell it like it is. I don't care who listening. And I, I don't care how folk feel because God is not into our emotions. God is into trying to set us free. So my answer is this. There's nothing wrong with women preaching and teaching the gospel. Don't bring your feelings into this stuff. Don't be ministering to people off your emotions. Let me tell you something, man. If you are a woman of God and you're listening to this and you called to preach and teach, let me tell you the secret to this. Don't never talk about stuff that everybody want to hear. I'm going to say it again. If you are a woman of God and you were called to minister the gospel and preach the gospel, don't never talk about stuff that everybody wants to hear. Because you want to know the secret to that? Real speakers for God, they talk about stuff that everyone hates. Real speakers of God, they talk about stuff that everyone is against. 
Real speakers of God, they talk about stuff that make folk angry. Real speakers of God preach the truth. We don't preach off emotions, man. And I got to say this. God used women in the Bible. Yes, he did. Come on, man. God used women in the Bible. He used Mary Magdalene. Come on, man. Mary Magdalene was the most loyal woman. Man, man don't, don't get me started on Mary Magdalene because I've done like, I think, two or three videos about her, man. Man, Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene was one of the most loyal women who followed Jesus, man. And Jesus used her. I'm going to repeat that again. Mary Magdalene was one of the most loyal women who followed Jesus and Jesus used her. She used to be a prostitute. She had seven demons in her. And yet, Jesus set her free and he used her. Okay, Tiario, what made Mary Magdalene so special? Mary Magdalene was not into her feelings. That's what made her special. She woke up. You know what I'm saying? She woke up. Mary Magdalene was not into her feelings when she was walking with God. Think about it. it Think about it. If Mary Magdalene was really into her emotions, Jesus wouldn't even, man, come on. Jesus wouldn't have picked her. Jesus had to pick her for a reason. Jesus picked Mary Magdalene because she was not into her emotions and feelings. She was real. And he set her free. And that, and that was one of the reasons why he was able to use her so good. That's right. Remember, Mary Magdalene was in the New Testament with the new followers of Christ. Go and use that woman, man. God used a lot of women in the Bible, but Mary Magdalene was the most loyal woman who followed Jesus. She was the most loyal one. Don't get me wrong. They had other women who God used, but Mary Magdalene was the top one. You want to know why she was the top one who was the most loyal to Jesus? Because here it is. When Jesus rose from the grave, he appeared to Mary Magdalene first. He went to her first. Out of all the people who Jesus could have went and saw, he went and saw Mary Magdalene First, watch this. Jesus didn't even go see his own mama first, but he saw Mary Magdalene first. He saw her first when he rose from the grave. That right there should tell y'all something, man. So, so once again, y'all, if women will get out their emotions and feelings, women can be powerful for God today. Now, y'all, I'm being honest. Do we really have a, like a lot of powerful women of God today? Like, like, do we really have a, a bunch of powerful women of God today? No, we don't. We don't. You want to know why? Because women to because women are so into the emotional, they're not stable enough to be powerful. I'm gonna repeat that. Women today are so into their emotions, they are not stable enough to be powerful. We have a bunch of women today who just cutthroat. They cutthroat, they not loyal, they backbite us, they emotional nervous wrecks, they gossip us, they hate us, they, they jealous of other women, they jealous of other men, they jealous of other people. Women today, y'all got a lot of stuff going on on the inside of them, man. And this is why women can't get along. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Women cannot get along, man. I could put a thousand women in one building, I guarantee you, they all will not love each other. I guarantee you, I can put a thousand women in one building and I, and, and I guarantee you all of them will not have love for each other. It's going to be some jealousy. It's going to be some hatred. It's going to be some gossip. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And really, it's probably going to be a fight. A bunch of women fighting, pulling out each other hell. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. See what I'm saying, man? So in order for women... In order for women to want to really minister the gospel and preach and teach the gospel, you women who are listening to this, this is the key. You got to get set free from all them cursed emotions and feelings. You got to get set free emotionally. You got to get set free mentally. You got to really get set free and then you got to be stable with it, man. You can't be unloyal. You can't be cutthroat. You can't be a gossiper. You can't be a backbiter. Either you're going to be down for God or you're not. You can't be two-faced. Because we have a lot of two-faced women out there. You, you can't be all that and yet trying to minister the gospel. You know what I'm saying? You got to really, really take this stuff for real. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario. And I had to just hit y'all with this truthful message. This is common sense, man. We don't need Bible study, man. We need common sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat that. We do not need Bible study. We need common sense. This is common sense, man. So with all that being said, I just had to hit y'all with the truth, man. The truth, y'all, is so simple, it's crazy. But y'all, people today don't even make things simple. But the truth is simple. I'm going to say it one more time. We don't need Bible study. We need common sense in the truth. That's a wrap. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario, man. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.